Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marian. Today I am showing you the items that I picked up during the Sephora Spring VIB um, sale. It started from April 1st and it'll actually end today, um, April 11th. Um, I'm pretty sure this video will be up after the 11th, but I hope that you took advantage of the sale. If you were an insider, you got 10% off um, VIB, 15% off, and then like me, I am Rouge, 20% uh, off. And before I go any further, I want to shout out to my friends that did use my phone number to get a discount because you have made it possible to where I am Rouge again for next year. So I appreciate that because I really did not have intentions on spending it over a thousand dollars on makeup and skincare and products like I normally do for this year. I'm trying to, you know, be a little bit mindful of my coins. So um, enough of my rambling. Please make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Your notification bell is turned on and leave a comment to let me know what products that you picked up. Um, this is just like me in my living room. I didn't want to put on any makeup to do this video because I didn't pick up a lot of products this go round um if you didn't know they typically have this sale twice a year so there'll be another one like in november or so and then surprisingly during the pandemic they had one in august so there could possibly be another sale during the summertime let's hope so um we're just gonna go ahead and hop on into this and i can show you what i got real quick so first bag is nothing but cotton pads the sephora brand i actually have four of them but i already opened up one and this comes in uh it comes with 50. i really like these because they are huge and they remove a lot of my makeup without me having to use multiple cotton pads so they're regular price four dollars and i got 30 percent off because that is a part of the sephora collection and if you didn't know, you didn't have to be a certain tier to receive 30% off Sephora's uh, products. I have probably mentioned that in my Sephora recommendation was on my wish list video. If you haven't checked that out, I'll link it up here somewhere as well. Now let's get to the nitty gritty of all my goodies here. First things first is the necessary uh, body wash. This is in Eucalyptus. I really wanted the fragrance-free one, but it was sold out in every Sephora that I went to. And I didn't want to order it online. And this is what the packaging looks like. It smells very strong and, and exactly like Eucalyptus. This is an 8.4 fluid ounce bottle. Regular price is $25. I got 20% off. Um, it's kind of like the Fenty toner where you just take this off and just twist the top and squeeze it in your hand versus you having to, you know, unscrew it and put the cap back on. So I think that that is very user friendly. Next up is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Um, if you watch my vlog, you saw that I was heading to Ulta to get this because it was 50% off that particular day and Ulta was sold out. And for some reason, this was 50% off at Sephora at the same time. And I was able to get additional 20% off on this. Now, this size here is $65 regular price. I do have the travel size, which is $25, but it is way smaller than this one. So this is 1.7 fluent ounces for $65. And I got it for $32 and then 20% off that. So I could not pass it up and that was, and when I got to Sephora, it was only two left. So I got there right in time. Also what was on sale 50% off that same day at Ulta was also 50% off at Sephora is the Lancome um, Rehydrating Comforting Toner with Acacia, Acacia Honey. I don't know how to pronounce that word, but um whatever this is for dry skin i have normal skin but i feel like this will work perfectly fine for me as well because i really like my skin to be really really hydrating so 
if you have dry skin or normal skin, I think this will work perfectly for you. I also have this in the travel size that I, I, I didn't even open the travel size yet. So I hope this doesn't break me out. But this is the 6.7 fluid ounce bottle. Also, this was the only bottle left. So it's regular price, um, $35. I got it for $17.50 and then 20% off. Next up is two items from NARS. First item is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer in shade Praline. Normally I get Biscuit, but I wanted to try something different. And when I was in the store, Praline looks like it's really close to my skin tone. And that's what I wanted. As you can see, can't wait to use this. This is going to be like um, for my under eye and brows and stuff. And, and then if I want to get Biscuit for um, a highlighting effect, then I'll go back and get Biscuit. But for right now, I feel like Praline will be perfect for me. Then I picked up the Orgasm Lip Mask. And the only reason why I got this is because I saw Andrea Renee here on um, YouTube talk about it. And she compared it to the Laneige Lip Mask, which I use already. And she said this one was actually better. I like the packaging. It is definitely cute. And it looks like it's a little bit thicker than the Laneige um, Lip Mask. If you tried this one out, let me know. Let me know if you like it or not. Now, moving on to my bougiest purchase out of this sale, and that is the Dior Backstage Face and Body No Powder um, Perfecting Translucent Powder. This was regular price $40, and I got it and got 20% off. So this is what it looks like. And the casing is so bougie and cute. Um, I got shade... 3N, which is 3 neutral. So that should work perfectly for me. Last items are all Sephora collection. Remember, Sephora collection was 30% off. So I already have uh, the Trio Face Palette, I think, Empowering. So I went back and got Gleam and Dare. There's actually four. I can't remember the other name of, of the one that I didn't pick up. I should have picked it up. Oh, well, um, I think I didn't pick it up because the shades were too dark for me. But this is what Gleam looks like. That's what Gleam looks like. I really like this color. Um, I already swatched it. And then the other one, Dare. Let's see what this one looks like as well. And I, I swatched this one as well. Um, I'm really feeling the blush colors, but... You know, the highlighters are good as well. I can definitely rock them. They're very uh, brown girl friendly. So, and then their regular price, $15, 30% off. Also picked up another razor, brow razor kit. This is regular price, $10. I already have one um, kit already, but I felt like why not get another one because um, of the sale. And I feel like anything that I use on a regular basis if the items are on sale and I know eventually I'm going to need them, why not pick them up? That's just my logic. Last two items are for the eyes and lashes, which is the Sephora Liquid Eyeliner. This is in black. This is like my favorite, favorite, favorite liquid eyeliner. It dries down matte. It does not smudge. It does not budge. And it applies effortlessly. I think this is regular price. $11, 11 or $12. So you really can't beat that. It's very affordable. And then last but not least is the Sephora Black Brush Tip Eyelash Adhesive. Um, I got this because I didn't have any other choice but to get it. I prefer the House of Lashes Adhesive, but for some reason, Sephora isn't selling that anymore. They are selling the Sephora slash House of Lashes Collab Adhesive, but I don't really like that. And I'm really not a fan of Sephora's adhesive. I have the white one, but I just sucked it up and got this because I need another one. And I don't like duo lash adhesive. So what I'm going to have to do is end up ordering a bunch of eyelash adhesives directly from the House of Lashes. Um, hopefully they are stocked up because the last time I checked their website, it was like they will be out of stock until January of this year. And it's April. So with that said, 
I hope you enjoyed this video, me showing you the items that I got during the VIB sale. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.